Hey dolls! So today I'm going to show you how I edit my sky photos that I post on Instagram, Twitter, and other places. This works if you are making them into wallpapers or just want to post them on your social media pages. But I use the app Color Story and it just looks like this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up my albums. I have a sky album right here. You can kind of see a couple before and afters. So I'll go ahead and open up one of these. You can see this photo right here. This is what it looks like just freshly taken off of my iPhone 8 Plus with the back camera. This is without any editing at all whatsoever. So we are going to go ahead and press continue. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is go into filters and I'm going to use the Candy Minimal and these were created by Matt Crump on Instagram and I'm basically going to use his tutorial to show you guys how I do this. So huge, huge, huge credit to Matt for this. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for teaching me how to do this and inspiring people to learn to do things like this and it's just so fun and I am excited to share this with you guys. So basically these are the filters that he created specifically for this app and I like to use, you can use any of these really, but I like to use Dreamsicle because I feel like it has the most pop of color but Jelly Bean is also really pretty as well. So it really all depends on if you're going more for a blue look or if you're going for more of a a purple pinky look. I prefer the purple pinky look so that's what I'm going to show you guys right now but you can also do the bluish hue if you want to do uh, the jelly bean filter. Now for this collection of filters I believe they are $1.99 so unfortunately you do have to pay for them. This is not a free tutorial but trust me you guys it is completely and totally worth the money. So you can adjust how strong you want the filter to be. Obviously um, I like to have it between 90 and 100 percent so I'm gonna have this one just at a hundred percent click the check button then I'm gonna scroll all the way back here click this back button and then click the little settings tool at the bottom of the screen click adjust and here you can adjust your curves so if you want it to be more blue tone you set it to blue and then you can adjust your curves that way kind of like temperature wise but if you want it to be a little bit more pink you adjust your red tones and as you can see the more you move this little curve right here you can also move these ones as well I think I think, yeah, you can move these ones as well. So you can really like go crazy and play with all the different colors. But for the sake of this video and for the simplicity of it, I'm just going to take this one in the middle and just move it a little bit up. Click the check mark. Click curves again. And I'm just going to make this a little bit more purpley-ish, kind of like that. Now you can change your clarity. This is basically just adjusting the sharpness of the photo. Contrast, brightness, this is all going to depend on what you want and what what looks best for your photo. For me, I find that every single photo looks different with the different levels of brightness and contrast. So sometimes I don't even touch them. Sometimes I change them drastically. It just really all depends on the photo itself. So now I'm going to bump up my saturation. And then I'm going to bump up my vibrance a little bit. And then you can also change your temperature. So as you can see, if I go to the right, it creates a more magenta -y pink shade. And if I go to the left, it creates more of an indigo blue shade. So I'm going to go a little bit to the right. And then the last thing I like to do is change my mid-tone shade. Right now I have it set on red. And again, this is just going to deepen up and saturate that significant color depending on whichever color you are going for and then again you can also change the blue levels but that right there is about what I like so as you can see if I click and hold on the photo it shows you before and after before and after then you just click the review button and save it then obviously you can go in and crop it down. I like to give mine a square crop if I am posting to Instagram, obviously. So something kind of like that. And that is how you can make your sky photos all vibrant, pink, purple, blue, and just beautiful.
Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do one more for you guys, and I'm going to do this one uh, more blue. Since this one already is blue, I'm going to do this one a little bit more blue. So I'm going to go to Filters, Candy Minimal, click that Jelly Bean, and look, you can instantly see how beautiful that blue is. Click the check mark, go into Settings, adjust your little curves here. I'm going to brighten this up just a little bit like that. And then I am going to uh, change my brightness and contrast here if it needs it. Oh, I don't think this one needs it that much. So I'm not really going to touch that one too much. Brighten up my saturation there. And then some temperature, just like so. And then doing that mid-tone color, I'm going to change this to... Oh, actually, that was really pretty. I like that a lot. And then we're going to change that mid-tone color with the blues and deepen that. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay. And then the check mark. So as you can see, before and after. Review and save. And again, once it is in your photos, you can crop it down if you want a square or if you just want to do the clouds like this, you definitely can do that as well. And of course, also, if you want to make a wallpaper with any of these, you just crop it to 16 by 9 and boom, there is your home screen wallpaper. It gives your photos a nice, beautiful pop of color. I love this. I am addicted to it. And again, huge thank you to Matt Crump for creating this tutorial that I was able to follow. Now I can take all of my sky photos that I did not think were worthy of being posted on my main Instagram account. Now I can edit them and make them cotton candy lusciousness and post them like crazy. So yes, again, I use the app Color Story. The app itself is 100% free to download. There are other filters on the app and you can kind of play with adjusting the colors as well, but you do have to pay for the candy minimal filters that Matt Crump created specifically for the app. So like I said, it is totally worth it because it just edits your photos so beautifully using those filters. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter and maybe even Tumblr because that's where I like to post these as wallpapers. And if you guys make your own, feel free to tag me in them on Instagram or tweet me. All of my social media links are just at Amanda31409. And with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right. Bye.